Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and today we are doing a reading for Aquarius. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, there's some playfulness in your energy here, Aquarius. What about your person? Oh, they want to reconcile with you. Okay. Oh, what do you got? Oh, there's attraction here. Wow, Spirit's saying that they're worth waiting for. Okay. So what do we have for this re reconciliation here? What's this about? Oh, perhaps somebody's called you in or you're calling someone in or they're calling you in. Ooh, they are a soulmate and somebody from a past life. Wow, this could be a twin flame or a divine union or just your soulmate could be twin flamish i'm kind of feeling twinny so we'll see if what we get later on let's get one more oh, oh this could be a new love for you perhaps you always had this person in the friend zone perhaps you're just friends at this time but there's a new love between you or there's a new love coming in for you even though somebody wants to reconcile, let's look, getting to know each other. Okay. <laughs> let's see what tarot cards come in. We're just going to do one. Ah, oh, equal give and take here with this new love. What about the person that wants to reconcile? They are healing right now with the star card. The star is a beautiful card to have. There's a uh, hope and promise, healing, guidance, and kind of life purpose? No, more faith, I guess. Having faith in your purpose. It's, it's about having the faith that you're going to get the things that you're looking for. So you may have called your soulmate in or they have called you in. So getting to know each other, let's put one on that as well. Yeah, they want to come in passionately and rush in to see you before possibly this new love. If there's two people here, if it's just them coming in, then they want to have something renewed here in a new love type of way with equal give and take or equal give and receive here. Let's look. At, well, let's do the after tarot here as well. I only read these in the uprights. Yeah, you've put down all your burdens. You're just carrying your own weight now, your own wand. I feel like you've, you're done with having people project things onto you and having that feeling of that ten of wands of carrying everybody else with you, being there for everyone else when nobody's there for you. Maybe you feel kind of secluded. This is some type of success in a way because I feel like there's a fulfilled obligation or you've hit the deadline. You're reducing pressure or success, but it was with a price. So it could be any of those things. So let's see what your person has for the after tarot. Yeah, the Knight of Wands. So with the Knight of Wands, they could be here for a good time, not a long time, <laughs> right? They're kind of like, maybe have to travel to come to you. There might be a way at the moment, or there's some type of altered plan that's happening here, possibly. There's some type of disruption with this, I feel. Yeah, some type of travel to come towards you. Whatever this is, this could be a stranger too. This could be a new love coming in. Somebody you don't know. Reconciliations. You may have two people here. Let's see what this is. Let's give an after tarot for that. Oh yeah, Ace of Cups. They want to come in with a cup of love, a blessing. They may see you as such, or you will see them as it. <laughs> Let's have a look at your intentions. What are your intentions here? Uh, not today. Maybe about that reconciliation or about this new love. 
And what about your person? Hmm, yep, new phase, rekindling, renewing something, hoping that you're going to change your mind about not wanting this person. Let's see, is there a new love here? What about the new love? I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming, fun flirting, and wanting to date. So you have a new person here, and you have somebody that wants to reconcile. The one you like, the other one you're not even going to deal with. And the one that wants to reconcile with you, you're not having it. So let's see, what about this new person? Yeah, twin flamish. I kind of felt that. Mirroring each other, self-image, uh, relationship, reflecting on your wounds, <clears throat> going within and having that introspection here. What about this Ace of Cups? Ah, uh, yes. <clears throat> Some clarity here. There is a truth revealed here. Maybe somebody expresses their love or their where they traveled from. Some type of revelation of some source, for sort. I feel like you have the power to choose. What's on the bottom of the deck? Addictions. Okay, so somebody is maybe codependent on something, someone, or obsession, possession, controlling, maybe has a block, or they're restrained from coming in by spirit. So it could be any of those things. Uh, that they're dealing with right now. This may come to light about this addiction. Um, somebody might tell you about that. So let's get a card here before we move through for Aquarius. Let's see, what about this new love? Ah, oh, they see you as the Empress. Wow, okay, what about you? Oh, we got a couple here, hang on. <laughs> You are single. I'm not, um, oh wow. Okay, I guess I'm taking them all. Single, um, this is not somebody from the past that sees you this way. And they see you as very um, independent, financially uh, wanting to make your own money. You're studying how to do that. You are diligent and grounded. And you're having that financial need to grow. You're also willing to take a leap of faith with this new person. Oh, wow, that's crazy. What about your old person, this reconciliation? Oh, the death card in reverse here. Huh. And this is delays, unwanted change, fear of some sort, financial change. Could be stress or being anxious here very secretive this is they don't want you to know that that's how they're feeling and it's all about this addiction I feel like they don't want that to come out let's get the after tarot here what's the new person like yeah they want to work with you maybe you want to work on this relationship yeah, they may be getting Dharma or they are very balanced has Libra in their chart we have venus here and we have the fool which is uranus how unique you are and i feel like you this is a new beginning all paths are open here wow that's beautiful what about your person um the reconciliation the past person mm, they're they're doing well on their own hmm they may, they may be single here with the Nine of Pentacles. What about this new person? Yeah, they're going to fight for you. They're going to do battle if they have to with the Knight of Swords. And I mean, they're going to come in and talk. They're going to take action. They're fast thinking, they're seizing the moment. They may be assertive and unstoppable when it comes to going after what they want. And they want you, Capricorn. <laughs> Let's see what lessons you may have learned along the way here. 
Receive the love and appreciation. Gratitude, acceptance is the way to show love. So you may show love by the appreciation and you need to receive that same appreciation. Perhaps you weren't getting that from anybody else. Embrace your emotions. Allow your feelings to surface and be accepted. I feel like you are willing to see where things go through when it comes to fulfillment. This is number nine. And we have number seven, which is all about reflecting on things from the past, perhaps, and assessing and gaining knowledge, getting that information here, maybe that clarity and truth. One more, and this is you're choosing to love. You choose love above everything else. So I feel like this is growth. You've grown. You've learned lessons here and possibly learning to love self, that self-value or your self-love. Let's see your person, the heart of the matter. There are more, there's more going on than meets the eye. And this is change number, no. 22 this is ascended masters they're telling you that this person that there's more going on here than meets the eye let's see what else be supportive perhaps they weren't supported supportive of you earlier make a genuine effort to show you care so maybe you felt they didn't care or didn't care about you this is about fulfillment and attainment and fulfillment or for fruition blah, blah, blah. <laughs> too many f's <laughs> be in the present and dream of the future when we dream everything is possible number four and this may be about stability so maybe looking for the rock or someone on their side or somebody that they can relate to let's see yeah be supportive is the they're going to be supportive and you're going to be supportive for whoever this is. This may be your past person or this could be this new love. Let's see. Let's get a couple cards here. Yeah, there's deception that you have dealt with. You got self-love out of the deal. And it may have been from an offer from a king of pentacles. Maybe they've made you feel less than and that's not what a relationship is all about whether they have more money than you do um just because they have more money doesn't make them in charge and that you are less than of a person because they have more money than you do or make more money than you do if you're there in a relationship you're both to benefit from each other and it shouldn't matter who makes what or who does what to who it's all about being a team player and being on the same team you're there it's like you two against the world and having that unbreakable bond between the two of you and not letting anyone else come in between you and this is about having your own life having your own freedom to choose and then having that life together where you're both compromising to have that person there and to be with that person, we all have to compromise things and give up things if we have to in order to compromise. Now, there may be little things you're giving up that you can live with, right? But if you have to give up your whole life for somebody, then maybe they're not your person. You shouldn't have to give up who you are. Be true to yourself, right? It's about being a team player together and yeah. And having that different mindset of it doesn't matter who does what to who. It's about what did you learn from that experience. And it's about your own growth. And when people put too much emphasis on everybody else's life but their own, they're not doing themselves any favors because now they're living in someone else's life instead of living down their own path, right? So let's have a look and get a card for your person. Yeah, they may have, this may be your past person here that we're talking about here. And the lesson they may have kind of gone through is an empty victory here I'm getting. Like they, they didn't win the war. Like this is hostility and conflict and an empty vi victory from arguments or trying to win at all costs. 
and it's an empty victory. It, nobody gains anything from what just happened there. So having that need to be right and arguing and then about a cause and then that cause kind of flips out the window somehow and it's all of a sudden the argument is who is right and then that ego is there and that pride is there and that's all that's getting in the way here and knowing what to put your energy into and what's worth putting your energy into if somebody wants to be that right and be right about something then you let their ego and their pride get in their way you don't have to have that going on in your life if you choose not to yeah, there's a tower here from this deception. There was an ending. Yeah, they they maybe are trying to tame the beast, maybe when it comes to addiction. Let's see another card for them. Yeah, they may try to boss up. They may boss up eventually here and become the emperor. Now, this could be your new person or your person that's from the past let's have a look at your feelings and I'm going to do two one for your past person and one for the new love how are you feeling about the past person how are you feeling about the past person that this just friendship okay and what about the new person Oh, you might trust this person okay and how is your past person feeling they're trying to use their intuition perhaps another one is they find something funny maybe about you or they're trying to see the lighter side of life and what about your new person oh there's hope here that maybe that you're going to be with them and what about your new person spiritual strength so they may you may have a lot of in common because they are spiritual they have hope and you may feel like you can trust this person what's your bottom oh yeah you're doing something for service to help others you may be having that um type of social media something here that People see you doing something good for others, or people just know you do things to help others. What's the, um, how you feel about your past person and friendship? Now you may have partied with this person and celebrated something with them. What about your new person? Hmm. You may feel that they're very sweet or a sweetheart or that's how they see you and make you feel like you're a sweetheart, treat, treat you like you're a sweetheart. What about your past person, how they feel about you? They want a victory, <laughs> okay? They want to win and it's not about winning, that's ego, okay? If you want to be the winner, I mean, that's everybody wants to win at something, but Winning at all costs, no matter what, and if that's going to put your morals and your values um, out the window, then are they really worth putting that out the window? Is the cause worth winning? You know what I mean? Like, let's see. Yeah, there's a competition here. There's competition and competitiveness here. With the five of wands, we're really looking at conflicting opinions, too many choices, a complex struggle, uh, competition. So let's see with your person, your new person. Yeah, they want to give you that offer. The Knight of Cups here, they love the idea of love. They may be very romantic. And I feel like they're, um, they want to offer a proposal or an offer to you and it's very romantic and heartfelt yeah you may have a ch decision to make and you may be calling judgment or somebody's getting karma because you called judgment on somebody here maybe on your past person because it came out both i'm going to put it back because i want to ask on each individual one okay for your person from the past here and celebrating let's see 
Yeah, the <laughs> five of wands. Okay. <laughs> they, um, they're competing for you. They are standing above the rest in a, a position of power or of advantage. So let's see about your other, your new person. Oh, they may be very intuitive, the high priestess. So, or high priest, however you want to say it. Um, this is about their heart, what's in their heart here. And that's the moon. This is foresight. This is enlightenment. They may have already be in, enlightened. And with the spiritual um, strength here, they might be very spiritual already. You may have that in common with this person yeah they're trying to get rid of any anxiety about coming forward towards you i feel uh how are you how are they feeling about you from your past person yeah they might be looking at the other cups behind them and uh maybe they don't end up winning with the five there's a lot of fives for this person about having to change things or how much they have changed or what they need to change let's see about your new person what's going on with the offer they're the king of swords they may be very serious about you and very truthful about things they may even be um they may confront things they have integrity. They are very intellectual, which very smart um, and reasonable. I, and they have a reason for things. Let's see about the service here. I want to see the service. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles. So you, you're definitely building something with one of these people to get this or this may be something you've built all on your own let's see what actions are coming in we're going to do one for you and one for your person from the past and one from your new person so let's have a look at your actions to your past person the an anima or anima <laughs> and Anemkara, Anemkara, I don't know if I'm saying it right. Unconditional love for your past person. There's, they're a soulmate, they're an uncommon bond. You may have been a friend with this person. So you may even have thought maybe you love this person. They may have Taurus in their energy. They're number six here, which is cooperating in harmony. They may be more cooperative right now. What about your this is how you've what actions you want to do with your new person oh you may want to be um you may have hidden emotions they may have you're very perceptive there may be true feelings here you may be looking deeper and getting into your conscious um self so number eight with the cancer energy with the well and that's how you're you want to dig deeper when it comes to the, and get to know this person because they're not they're a new person right let's see about how your past person feels about you wow the sun yes energy power climax fulfilled pride radiance success vigor divine masculine daytime victory happy warm so they see you as all these the things and this divine masculine really is feeling like they are the structure you're looking for with the sun card there with the four which is about structure stability and manifestations so let's see what we get for actions for your new person how they feel about you broken heart interference okay so there's in distress they may be hurt have emotional pain or a broken heart because there's another person here trying to get between the two of you or having to try to um, compete for you so there's two people competing for you and I feel like they're very discouraged that you're not going to take the new person so let's look at your past person here and give them a card 
how your how what your actions are towards this person uh -huh, the sun you both have the sun because you are twin flames i already saw twin flames somewhere around here so there is twin flameish energy i was feeling you're both showing up as the sun and uh, what about your person and how they feel about you and this is your past person they may have a lot of options or may be confused because you do have a lot of options. Maybe they want to confuse you about your other options with the number seven there. And that's reflecting, assessing, maybe trying to the knowledge there, gain knowledge. All right. And what about your new person? What are their actions towards you? Yeah, they're very serious about you, but the, they may be an air sign which is that uh, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Now, what about your new person? Oh, wow, they see you as the Ten of Cups. They see you as their Ten of Cup or their Tenth Cup. Wow, and that's probably what they're looking for is that last pentacle or that last cup of love. Let's see what we get for your actions towards your past person. You may be trying to decide what you're going to do. What about your new person? What are your actions towards them? Wow, there's marriage here or spirituality here. Let's see. What about your person's actions from the past? They're being patient, maybe still healing with the temperance. They still may be... They may be trying to find peace or their life purpose or feel they have a life purpose with you. And what about your new person? What is their actions towards you? Wow, love and coming together. They want to love you. They want to give you that cup. They want to love you. Wow. Okay, <laughs> let's see what the combined energy is. I'm going to cut the deck twice. And this is for your past person, and this is for your new person. Wow. So the train. So this past person may move on. There's a life journey here, a new endeavor, or going away. Keep going forward. Going in the flow, a steady climb, no resistance. Okay, and this person really wants to romance you, love you, give you the affection. They're enchanted by you. There's a lot of passion, tender yearning, and attached with the Pisces and number one. And the, the Gemini, which is my <laughs> Gemini, is the twin card, which to me is that twin flamish kind of thing here. I'm going to give a card for the train for the past. They're coming they're moving in uh, not moving into your house but coming towards you what about your new person yeah they're charging in to fight for you as well so you may have to decide between two Aquarius let's see one may be a Capricorn here they may be um, a tempting offer here and what about the other person charging in they're they're busy Drinking out of their own cup here with their self-love. What else? They may be here for a good time, not a long time. Oh, they may have chosen you and hoping you will choose them. So let's have a look at your true heart's desire, Aquarius. Whoa, okay, we got... It is important right now to take a step back and spend time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. So Spirit's saying, for your true heart's desire, you really need to look within and go and see within your heart who you truly resonate with or who you have to kind of be honest with yourself about who you may truly love and who belongs in your energy, who you're really looking for. Let's see here. Sacred or secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. And that is your person. So that might be your past or your... Let's do this one again. Because I want to do one for your past and one for the 
new. So let's do your past person here and your new person here. Let's see you for your past person. <laughs> the secret admirer came back out. And what are we at? New person. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. So they're hoping you're going to leave the past behind you and move forward with them. <laughs> I like it. So let's crack the deck. For your past person, this is your combined energy. And for your new person, love inside yourself examine what is causing you to feel this way <laughs> nice and your combined energy with your past person is trust you may not be able to trust this person transformation occurs through acceptance once you accept the current situation then you automatically transform and i feel like there was trust was broken here there may have been lies or some kind of trust that was somebody didn't tell the whole truth maybe only half truths which is still lying because you're not being upfront and honest with your person so let's give these cards to your past person uh-huh they want that happy home and marriage what about your new person wow the lover's card <laughs> oh wow okay and this is Gemini energy. This could be your twin flame and this person and maybe just your soulmate. So <laughs> let's look at the number four. Yeah, they're in poverty. They may be there for your money or what you have with this ten of pentacles that you're building, your legacy. What about your new person? Yeah, they are healing. They may be healing from something else. Yeah. Well, they may be offering some help to you if you are the one healing capricorn let's look at spirits advice real quick here because i don't want it to be too long we have compassion with you other people and yourself that leadership i feel like you are a leader and you are being powerful in the position you have you're building that legacy one more clairvoyance so you may be able to have that clear seeing or clear knowing here yeah it says i'm helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love so these are messages that you'll be able to get from spirit that you will see clearly or feel clearly i kind of feel like you're going to have that sense of seeing what you need to see uh, from spirit let's see what about your person now this is <laughs> how about your past person what's their advice here past person moon cycles they may be doing um manifesting around the moon cycles let's see they are being patient and what else they're trying to prioritize maybe you or themselves let's see about your new person overcoming difficulties so they're trying to well all their difficulties are behind them now for your new person there's divine order here everything is how it needs to be right now look past the illusion and see the underlying order so they want some type of balance and order here from this new person and what else gifts from God Wow they may be receiving gifts from um, Archangel Sandalfon. We angels bring you gifts from your creator. Open your arms to receive. Wow. So they may be getting some really great gifts here from spirit, a blessing of some sort for your new person. And let's see, their old person's combined energy is just taking a breath, maybe doing breath work take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns so maybe releasing the past here and then clear audience you may get messages um, from this person that you hear maybe that I'm kind of getting that uh, twinish and that intuition but there's also that telepathic kind of energy you may feel this person before they 
you see them okay and let's see here notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people so somebody might say something that totally clicks for you um, and this is a message for you to understand or hear so that you can maybe realize something or have some type of clarity on a memory or how to react to somebody or it's something to do with hearing spirits advice okay so let's see what the outcome is for you Aquarius What is the outcome? Ooh, there is a thief here, Aquarius. Okay, there might be a thief that is here. Let's put that back. If it comes back out, it's meant to, but um, right now, I, there's a certain thing I want to ask. What is your outcome here? What is your outcome here? Oh. Your outcome is a main mill, okay? So you're going to make a choice between these two. What is your past person? They want courtship here. And your new person, there's an ending. So you may choose your past person. They may have changed enough that you're trusting that to go with them. But look at the thief came out for you in a sense where you may be getting taken for a ride because you have money and you may be ending something with somebody here that's a new person. Let's look on the bottom of the deck and crack it. So the combined energy for you and your past person, Oh, you might have something you do together for an occupation here. You work together or on a purpose, maybe. And the combined energy for your new person. Oh, a journey. So, hmm. What's the journey? An official person. What else? Expecting something. I'm kind of getting um, this person may end things and go home or you yeah and go home and you may be expecting to hear from this person they may be an official person let's crack the deck one more time now are you gonna see this new person again uh, they're in poverty there's an ending here with the number 10 number 10 number 10 so I got 10, 10, 10 here. So with this official person, with this ending, and it's a 10 as well. So 10, 10, 10, 10, totally over is what your ascended masters are trying to tell you. So you may not actually get it together with this person that is a new person. They may be trying to take you for a ride Okay, Aquarius, <laughs> wow, okay. So let's get you and your past person. Wow, a blessing and a cup of love here. Oh, you can't even see these things. We better pull them back in here because we have the main male. There's your blessing. There's your combined energy with your occupation and they have courtship here. So 114 and then we have 22 we have 10 10 and 10 another there was a bunch of 10s there a 10 there a 22 there and there was a 10 here as well i don't know where that one went but in any case there was another 10. but yeah we did see the thief so somebody might try to take from you might be this um, new person here and let's look at the after tarot between you and your um, path or your new person here yeah you may want some type of truth or you may be kind of cold towards this person you may be very intelligent so you're 
I feel like you're very objective. So you may see through this person. You're very independent, powerful, and strong. So I feel like you may get information with the swords are always about communicating with the bird up there. So you may um, want some type of truth from this person. You may not get it. Is kind of what I'm getting here. With your true heart's desire, or was this something else? Yeah, this was the truth heart. Yeah, true heart desires here. Did we get one for your, yeah, strength and what else? Did we get one for that? Hmm, I don't see any for this. Maybe we didn't do these ones. So let's have a look for a card on spirit's advice to help us with that. Oh yeah, there's an ending here for someone and anxiety about the other and news, some type of news. Yeah, you're gonna make an ending and somebody's worried about this and there's just news. There's some news here that you're gonna hear about clear audience here. Yeah, you're not gonna miss the opportunity you're meant to um, get. Somebody's on target here, I'm gonna crack the deck yeah, you want cooperation to work with somebody and you got the message or somebody's got the message here. Wow, Aquarius. So you may decide to choose the blessing here with the past person and let the new person go. You may build this ten of pentacles together. You might be meant to have this courtship as a blessing you may be this twin flame or the soulmate connection there's differences between the two the twin flame you're able to break patterns and see patterns in one another because you mirror each other so what you see in yourself or what you see in the other person is also what you see in yourself and it may not be a good look, right? <laughs> Sometimes you somebody's doing something and you think, oh, should I do that? I'm not doing that anymore because that's how it's coming across. Or this is what it looks like when they're doing it. And it's like, you're not fooling anybody. You're not fooling me. So why would I do that uh, anymore? And then these are all about behaviors that you may put behind you. Different things you may have done in the past and seeing how they look. You break those patterns down. You're able to break ego down as well. Um, you realize about pride and ego and how it can escalate about all being to be right. And then your cause of whatever you're arguing, arguing on kind of goes out the window and now it's just a pride and ego thing about being right and knowing when to put energy into something like that and when not to and when you kind of had that ego breakdown you know you don't need to put your energy in anything that you don't want to put your energy in that's going to drain you're very selective about what you put your energy into there are going to be some shared beliefs in spirituality as well when you are a twin flame with the soulmate connection it's an easy kind of best friends type of connection um you feel like you're in your soul family there's a deep warm and safe comfy type of deep soul connection where you like you've known this person before so depending on what you have here and if you have the two combined like twin flame and soulmate kind of come up with the lover's card and the two of cups i kind of feel like that could be a divine union where you have some aspects of the twin flame and some aspects of the soulmate to make that divine type of um, relationship, that divine love. So I kind of feel like you get the best of both worlds. You can see one another in each other. You might be able to see through your person, know exactly what they're thinking. There's that telepathy. Everybody has telepathy. It's all about being able to tap into it and know how to, all right? So if you want to, you could look into it um, about telepathy and how to tap into that. 
what kind of things you can do to maybe uh, increase some of those um, gifts. And uh, I can probably do a small video uh, with that. I'm kind of looking at the members thing again. I, I was looking at it thinking it's kind of complicated. Do I really want to have a issue with that? Um, this might just be a video I just put out on my channel instead. Um, I do have my manifesting as well. I might put that as a course or some type of just videos that you pay for to watch or I might just have them for free. I haven't decided yet where I'm going with the channel. I haven't even gone live yet, which I'm still <laughs> looking at doing. Yeah, anyhow, Aquarius, <laughs> stay blessed. We will see you guys next time. All right, later.